Hello, it's Saturday the 21st of November. You're tuned in to our 6pm newscast coming to you from Adidang's News Centre in Seoul. It's very good to have you with us. I'm Mark Broom. Our top story this evening, the UN Security Council has given its unanimous backing to a resolution that urges countries to take strong measures against the Islamic State group in Syria and Iraq. It comes a week after the deadly terror attacks in Paris. Now, Hwang Jie has the details. Take all necessary measures to fight the Islamic State group. That's what the UN Security Council is calling on countries across the globe to do by unanimously adopting a resolution drafted by France. The resolution also urges countries to redouble and coordinate their efforts to prevent and suppress further attacks carried out by ISIS and other terrorist groups. In a rare diplomatic move, Russia itself, a victim of an ISIS bomb attack in the Sinai Peninsula last month, voted in favor of the measure. For years, Russia and the West have been at odds over the conflict in Syria. Moscow wants President Bashar al-Assad to stay while the West believes Assad needs to go. This resolution, however, does not mention the UN's Chapter 7 that gives countries legal authorization for the use of military action. France and Russia have already been launching airstrikes on ISIS and rebel-held areas of Syria, though, arguing their actions are based on self-defense. The unanimous vote came just a week after ISIS launched its shocking attacks on Paris. 130 people were killed in those attacks, and many more were injured, many critically. Belgium has upgraded its terror alert to the highest level in Brussels, citing a serious and imminent threat. Authorities there have charged two people with involvement in the Paris attacks. Huang Jie, Arirang News.